If you don't need to see certain columns on a worksheet for a while, or if you want to print data and not print certain columns, you can hide those columns. You can hide one or more columns as needed. The data is not being destroyed in any way, and any formulas used within those columns are still working properly. Maybe we want to print this worksheet and not show the building column. So if we click column B, we could go to the ribbon. In the cells group on the Home tab, choose Format and Hide Columns. That's certainly one way to do this. Slightly faster might be, for example, if we don't want to show the higher date column, simply right-click column E and choose Hide. If we want to hide multiple columns, we can select them by using the control key. Maybe we don't want to show the two salary columns here, so we'll click column H, and then with the control key held down, we'll click column J. And then a simple right-click to hide those columns. If we were to print this, we would expect not to see that data, and furthermore, no gaping hole within the data, too, on the printed output. So if we went to the File menu here and choose Print, just to get a preview of this, we see that the appropriate columns are hidden, and we don't see them, and someone viewing this doesn't know that there's any hidden information. Less likely to be used, but nevertheless also available, is the ability to hide a row or multiple rows. Maybe we don't want to see information about Michael Ashley. He's just left the company, but we do want to keep the data here. So we could simply right-click row four and hide that information. And if it's multiple rows, just as in the case of multiple columns, we could use the control key here to select different rows that are not adjacent. If they are adjacent, we might just drag across them. For example, rows seven, eight, and nine, we'll right-click and hide those. At other times, you might be doing this simply because you want to view the important parts of the data and just the hidden parts you don't need to see for a while, so you leave them hidden. Now, at some point, you want to bring back the data, and keep in mind, too, that sometimes you will receive data from others where you do have hidden columns, hidden rows, and it's perfectly fine to save data in that format, but do be on the lookout for them. Recognize, too, that when a column is hidden, there is a subtle display difference, for example, between columns D and F here, we do see that, that gap. And of course, uh, we know our alphabet too. We see something's missing up there. Similarly, over on the left-hand side where we see the rows, there's a hidden row four, and we see that tiny gap between the three and the five as well too. So there's a visual alert to the fact that we do have hidden rows and hidden columns. If you want to bring back just one of the hidden columns, suppose it's column E here, we can drag across columns D and F in any direction, and then take one of two actions, either right-click and choose Unhide, automatically brings back the column. Let me press Control-Z to undo that. Another option is, after selecting the columns, to simply double-click one of the column boundaries. That also brings back the hidden columns as well. If you've got hidden columns in a variety of locations and want to bring back all the data at once, click in the upper left-hand corner, which selects the entire worksheet, and then either right-click and unhide or double-click a column boundary. So right-click on Hide will unhide all of the hidden columns in this worksheet. And similarly, with hidden rows, we've selected the entire worksheet. We'll simply right-click one of the rows and choose Unhide to bring back all the hidden rows. And so this is a feature I think you'll want to use at different times as you want to remove data from the screen, either for printing purposes or just for visual reasons.